Okay, guys, I'm continuing my research. I check it up transistors on the board. Uh, appear like everything fine with transistors. But there was like a uh, low rate voltage on two pins on the motor comparing to the normal one. So I swapped the tape transfers and problem is switch it now to this left well. So I believe the motor is bad. So I have to chat with the owner to see if he is willing me open motor and try to fix it. But I afraid there is a microchip malfunction. So quite not sure. Probably new motor is needed. So stay tuned. Okay, everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. It's been a long time. Uh, but I received new motor and I'm in the process of installing. So mechanically it fits perfectly well. And belt is already there. However, looking into the pin layout, I believe uh, the layout is different. So as you may see, the older motor goes minus plus a b and the new motor goes a b plus minus so that's what i will verify now with the other tape transport i will measure voltages to make sure uh, they are proper and i will be connecting properly and then i will uh, solder these wires in the required order so give me a moment i will measure and connect wires and we'll show you how see you so here guys i'm measuring uh you may see here on the voltmeter so the first one is zero second one is plus you see 10.7 volts and then there is like 10.3 volts and 8.66 volts okay so it goes minus plus I believe this one B, and this one A. All right. So, <clears throat> or maybe this one A B. Let me connect and let's play around and see how it will perform. Hey guys, uh, here is the fourth time I'm disassembling. I was uh, I installed the new motor and it was running too fast, so I decided to understand what the reason. Put back the older one. An older one uh, works, I can adjust speed, but it's still too high. And over time, I feel it's, it's just getting hot, all right? So there is a problem with, uh, I believe, microchip it shot. Uh, but I was looking into um, schematics, trying to understand uh, reasons. I um, installed the port right here to adjust the speed, and it adjusts pretty well. And I measure it voltages. And this comes to that on Sony deck, <clears throat> Uh, so how it works, we have minus plus and we have output for resistor and on Sony deck uh, resistor is like 22 kilo ohm plus 10 kilo ohm adjustable port and this is too much for this new motor so we need to uh, reduce the <coughs> permanent resistor on the Sony board from 22 kilo ohm I believe to less value I will still adjust and see which one to make this motor work because when just install 50 kilo ohms here i can adjust and it's adjust in wide range and it can give like very wide range of speeds it's fine so that's why i replacing them back again and trying like to <clears throat> make it finally running uh, in a full so i confirm that this motor is short all right uh, even like break one of my motors, trying like to understand how they do behave. Uh, we'll fix it later. But right now, the goal is like to install this guy, and then I will put in a parallel resistor on the main board uh, to make sure that we will have enough range to adjust speeds. All right, see you soon. All right, guys, I'm assembled and take a look. If I will leave it as this. This motor works, but it works on the maximum possible speed. Listen yourself. So you hear? And even if I will adjust, it still don't give me the range, okay? So that's where I will put uh, resistors in a parallel to the resistors which are, are permanent here 
and they are sequentially connected with this port. So we just don't have enough range to adjust for this new motor. All right. So give me a moment and I'll meet you there. All right, guys, I reduce the speed, but even if I do short all the potential, all the pots, resistors, or even if I short pins here, it's still running a little bit quick. So this is like definitely for different tape transports, but this motor is cold. This one was warm, really warm. So I'm not sure what to do. The other motor is cold as well. So oh. let me open this one. Let's see if we can restore it. I'm running out of ideas. It's a little bit quick now, even if I put everything on minimum and if I shorted the resistor there, it's still not enough. All right, see you. All right, guys, I opened the Sony motor and just like uh, measure the resistance of the coils. Looks like one coil is fried. And you see it's even changes the color. Two coils is about uh, seven ohm and one coil is three ohm only. So that's why it's heating up, all right? And that's not properly. I thought initially to replace the capacitor, but then like I mentioned that the color is not even. And I measured coils and they are unfortunately bad. So let me see if I can fit the one from the other motor if it's the same size i need to measure diameter so you see that's the coils the good one these coils are not good anymore all right so let me measure resistance on these coils let me put you on stand for now okay let's see what we will get here It's 5.1. Alright. Come on. Sleep we need. It's not convenient. Is it? Five point one. Five point one. That's a new motor. I just did assembled. 5.1 all right let's see the diameter if you will fit or not Tiny C. This one twenty three. Okay. Um, Thirty four. Thirty two. A little bit shorter. But that shouldn't be a problem, I believe. Okay, let me try to assemble with this uh, rotor from the new motor, and let's see if it will work. Let's see, guys. Hey guys, and uh, here I assembled the motor with new rotor and I replaced the capacitor and I'm able to adjust uh, the speed using the port and I'm now currently testing if it will be heating up as before or it will start to work normally so I will run a little bit longer test to see how it behaves before putting it back into the deck 
So let's see how it will work this soon. And guys, you wouldn't believe me, but I'm still experimenting with this motor because it's torque not even, as you may see. On slower speeds, it's not acting good. <coughs> I'm already cleaned, deoxidized it, uh, lubricated bearings. I'm quite not sure what else I can do with this motor. It's so weird. Uh, all right, see you. And here I'm installing the original coil. It jumps as well, so probably I see it's bad. So you see. But it consumes like much more power, like 5 watt at the normal speed. That's why it's, it's heating up, right? So this coil is bad. And I'm afraid the microchip is bad as well. <coughs> All right, no save from this motor. We'll see what's, what I can do next. See you. And uh, hello everyone again. Uh, so I don't have any other option. So I tune it this deck as it is. Uh, I tune it speed for high speed dubbing. It will keep 6,000 gears on both wells, so it's possible to do high-speed dubbing. But on the low speed, it shows 3,400 3, gears on the left and 3,000 on the right. I don't have any other motors to try. I check it eBay. Uh, no other motors, so that's the lowest as I can get from this motor. And the original motor is fried. It takes 5 watts and microchip is dead and coils are burned so not many options i can do more unless we get a better motor so i will ship it back as is i don't have much more time to spend on this deck it works you see both directions i tune it as you move so i just a little bit too quick all right so and right place really really nice I tune it recording it does really well up to 10 kilogears I didn't check yet higher but all in all it is flat and sound is pleasant I measure its frequency sweep uh, and it gets like minus 4 decibel on 15 kilogears and it's normal for this two well decks so that a specific correction is needed. I did for my well, my deck, Sony. If you remember 965, it takes time to correct heads, correct the frequency response to make it perfect, and so on. Now my 965 is a per perfect player. However, it cannot record the same way as three head decks can. All right. So this would be it with this deck. Thanks for your time. I hope it was interesting. We tried multiple things, we tried combined motors, we tried to do other stuff, so I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys, bye bye.